my name is uh, Natalie Anderson. I'm a nurse with a PhD. I work for the University of Auckland as a senior lecturer at the School of Nursing. We are in a bit of trouble. We are having to do a lot more with a lot fewer resources. And uh, that means that unequivocally, I am not able to deliver the standard of care that I used to be able to deliver because I am spread more thinly. And so that leads, unfortunately, to us having to make decisions where instead of doing one thing first and the second thing second, we're having to do one thing instead of something else. Sometimes it does feel these days like um, there, uh, there are more compromises than there used to be. You know, it doesn't pay particularly well. It's terrible hours. You are caring for people who um, might be angry, especially in an emergency. We don't get a lot of kind of hugely grateful people. There's been a lot of pressure on nurses to pick up additional shifts. And so the reality for a lot of nurses is that they're getting text messages from really desperate team members saying, please, please, please come in tonight. I have missed a great many breaks. There definitely are nurses who feel so overwhelmed by their workload that they can't rest and recover during their breaks because they're worried the whole time. It is not uncommon to uh, have people threaten us, throw things at us um, and assault us. Um, and I think there aren't many jobs where people would tolerate that and go to work knowing that that was definitely on the cards. And that's really hard for health workers, but also their families. But the other side is um, doing a job that where what you're asked to do actually physically and mentally exceeds what you're capable of doing. Coming to work every day and finding that your workload is more than you can reasonably meet um, is a pretty demoralizing experience. I have a lot of amazing colleagues who are currently working in Australia and that is our loss and Australia's gain. Like I know they're great nurses, um, money was definitely part of it and I think that um, if we had pay parity with Australia that that would definitely help. But there aren't a lot of Australian nurses coming to New Zealand and you do have to ask yourself is that because we don't pay as well and our working conditions aren't as good. If you uh, have good staffing levels people don't die as often and recover more quickly and go home earlier from hospital. I'd also like to see a lot more investment in prevention of illness. I really want the light shone is not on the individual work of nurses necessarily but to understand the value of keeping people well and keeping people safe and comfortable um, and preventing future illness.